in the pitch dark night and the extreme weather among the three aircrafts to take off only a Boeing 737 operated by Kenya Airways decided to take off. It climbed to 2500 feet, banked to the right and dived towards the mangrove swamp killing all 114 people on board. May the 4th, 2007, Port Buen Airport, Abidjan, Ivory Coast. Kenya Airways Flight 507 was preparing its scheduled flight between Abidjan, Ivory Coast and Nairobi, Kenya, with a stopover in Douala, Cameroon. From Abidjan to Douala, it has 55 passengers on board, of which 38 are to disembark at Douala. The airplane took off from Abidjan at 6.45 and landed at the Douala International Airport at 10 o'clock at night. When the flight arrived to Douala, the passengers disembarked and the passengers from Douala to Nairobi boarded the flight. Now the total number of people on board is 114, where 108 of them were passengers and 6 were cabin crew members. The weather was extreme. The flight was scheduled to departure at 11, but was delayed because of the weather, which consisted of thunderstorms with heavy rain showers. The flight crew requested for startup clearance from the tower and obtained it. But later, at 11.37, the crew announced of cancelling startup to wait for a lull in the rainfall. Then again, at 11.54, the crew requested and obtained a new authorization to start out. There were three aircrafts waiting for the weather to be improved. One of them was Flight 507 and two others were flights operated by Cameroon Airlines and Royal Air Maroc. The crew of the Cameroon Airlines and the Royal Air Maroc opted to wait until the weather will improve. But the crew of Flight 507 decided to depart because they had already been delayed over an hour and captain felt that the weather had improved enough for departure. Flight 507 begins taxing for the runway 12. The pilot in command failed to seek takeoff clearance from the airport control tower and the aircraft started its takeoff roll from Douala on 5 May and the flight was due to arrive in Nairobi at 6.15 in the morning. Rotate. Once the aircraft was airborne, the plane had a tendency to bank right and the captain countered it by using his control wheel. It was 24 seconds after the takeoff. The aircraft reached at an altitude of 1000 feet. There was no control inputs from both of the pilots and 18 seconds later, captain called out OK command, indicating to the first officer to engage the autopilot. 
but the first officer did not read back the command given by the captain. There was no audio confirmation in the cockpit indicating that the autopilot had been engaged. It's now 55 seconds. Until now, the control column is not touched by anyone from the cockpit. Since the captain let go the control wheel, the aircraft was gradually turning towards right from 1 degree to 34 degree. When the crew suddenly heard the warning sound, the captain panicked. Then he made a series of movements on the control stick, which made the situation more worse. At first, he moved the roll control wheel, which immediately turned the aircraft 22 degree to the right. Then 20 degree to the left. Again 45 degree to the right. And at last 11 degree to the left. The bank angle started to increase rapidly to the right. When the plane was banking at 50 degree right, the crew engaged the autopilot. The autopilot was slowly leveling the aircraft. But again, the captain tried to bring the aircraft under control by using the right rudder which caused it to bank further to the right. But what made the situation worse is the input from the first officer, which was opposite to the command what the captain had done. The captain engaged the autopilot, but until then the plane was banked 115 degree to the right and was at an altitude of 2290 feet. It was impossible to recover the aircraft because of the low altitude. The aircraft crashed into a mangrove swamp less than two minutes after takeoff. Even though the crash site was directly beneath the flight path for planes taking off from Douala, nobody saw it because of the jungle that covers the area. The wreckage was found by a local hunter after 40 hours from takeoff. He immediately reported it to the Air Force. The investigation was done by Cameroon Civil Aviation Authority. According to the investigators, the aircraft crashed after loss of control by the crew as a result of spatial disorientation after a long slow roll during which no instrument scanning was done and in the absence of external visual reference in a dark night. Inadequate operational control, lack of crew coordination, coupled with the non-adherence to procedures of flight monitoring, confusing in the utilization of autopilot, have also contributed to cause this accident. What do you think about the video and the final report? Please don't forget to share about your valuable comments. This much for today. I hope you will give a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel. I will see you in the next video. Thank you for watching.